Alliance Wars Season 13 is announced. Are we likely to see a future Summoner Appreciation Calendar? And I make the cut when it comes to the Marvel Contest of Champions New York Comic Con video. Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well. Welcome to the 16th of October, Wednesday edition of Marvel Contest of Champions news. Before we get into today's news, Please remember, go to twitch.tv slash richthemandlive and follow for daily live streams and don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below in regards to the topic of this video. Thank you. Oh yes, that's very important information, but without further ado, let's get into the news. Now, coming out of a very few hours ago, we had the New York Comic Con video drop with Christopher Jam the Man's there, and it's, it's really cool. Go and check the link in the description. Your boy makes an appearance for like one second. But the fact is, it is a really fun- Yeah, uh, it's gone. That's it, I've just spoiled it now. Fact is, it's a really fun video, go check it out. It just showcases a lot of cool things about the community, stuff that went down at New York Comic Con, and other things in between. Also, I like this freeze frame. It's like, Seaton's like, I need to look the other way, because if I look this way, I'm gonna see D, D, D's D, and I don't wanna see his D, so I'm gonna look over here. Moving on, and classic covers, as you can see here, these are some of the ones that Kabam have put together. I had a nice conversation with Gabe, and he said to me about comic books. So yeah, I've bought some, and he's like, I hope you plan to read them. Yeah, but I may look to preserve them. Why? Why? They should be read. And I was like, yeah, I know. I, read, I try and read comic books once, and then try and preserve them, because I want to keep them for, for a while. I like them just being there. They're collector's items. They're collectibles. But anyway, classic covers. New Mutants, as you can see there. Uh, this person has gone to the trouble of putting together who are these assigned to, which is pretty cool. Shout out to yourself. So we've got Hulk, we've got Incredible, so Incredible Hulk, we've got then uh, the, this was the odd one because it's got the different kind of look to it. It's kind of cool to incorporate the old Black Widow and the, like the, the new kind of design and the way that they kind of interlink over the, uh, over the past. We've got the X-Men one here, we've got the Avengers one here uh, with Arcus and then we've got down here the Amazing Fantasy which we did actually talk about um, a little while ago. And the new one is the Avengers one, which is this one, as you can see here. I really like the Kabam putting these together. I think this is like one per, this is one per week, I think. So I think we're still due one for this week, uh, or maybe it's once every two weeks. Either way, obviously it's the end of October. I think this is just run for a month. Uh, I'd hope this is run for an entire year, but you know, I, I just don't know if that's kind of good use of resources obviously from a design point of view, but you know, I'd love to see more of this. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Kabam for putting this together. One big bit of MCC related news came out yesterday and that was we were going to see Alliance War Season 13. Yes, unlucky for some, but hopefully this isn't unlucky at all. Season 13 is gonna kick off in the next few weeks and what are the changes? Kabam said, after reviewing the data for the defense tactics following season 11 and 12, we'll be increasing the potency of two of our more underutilized and underperforming buffs, Siphon and Flow. So Siphon, villain defenders recover 2% of their max health with each landed strike and recover 0.8 max health with each block strike, increased from 1% from their max health with each landed strike and 0.5% with each blocked strike. That's still good. It's good to see improvements being made for that and maybe people actually choose to pick up that particular buff. Moving on now to flow. Critical strikes against control defenders grant flood, causing them to gain 15% of their max power over 20%, uh, 20 seconds, increased from 10% of their max power over 20 seconds as well. This again should increase the potency and also will mean that maybe players will consider this as an option when putting down their defense tactics. Something that has been well utilized over the space of the last season, so it's good as well that uh, players are utilizing this much more. Anyway, what are your thoughts on defense tactics? Were these a good implementation to this particular game mode? Does it add to the complexity? You can't really be bothered with it. I don't know, thoughts in the comment section down below. Okay, now on to our next story, and that is a summoner appreciation. Yes, I know this isn't the summoner appreciation calendar, but it's here for reference point. So as we know, this is October, and it's not exactly the most exciting of calendars with just the usual stuff month in, month out. The Summoner Appreciation Calendar was a pretty decent thing to have in the game. And similar to another game, which obviously, as you know, I've done sponsorship deals with, I'm actually playing at the moment whilst I'm recording, and that is Raid Shadow Legends. For the first 90 days, they give out this special calendar. 
and it felt that the summoner appreciation was like that in some sort of shape or form. But an ongoing thing to entice players to come back each and every day to play the game. That is something that is very important and I think the summoner appreciation got that locked down to a T. Now, where are we up to with getting these better calendars? Well, we go into limbo at the moment. So in November, December time, mainly in December, you'll see the fifth anniversary calendar. You'll probably see a winter calendar. Similar to what we saw last year was very valuable. Now, I think there will be something happening. I can't confirm that. I need to do a bit more digging and also getting a few more answers back. But there could be something on the horizon which will make players really excited. But I think we're going to have to go through a little bit of a boring kind of nothing really happening with the calendar. Especially with a side quest. There's nothing really with a side quest. Actually, there's nothing with a side quest full stop that gives a side calendar as we've experienced over the last year. So as soon as I get more information, I will keep you well informed with that. So fingers crossed for a sequel to the Summoner Appreciation Calendar or as well something that pads the gap between the fifth anniversary calendar which we're more than likely going to get and also a winter calendar which as we all know the last two weeks of december is already always quite lucrative so uh yes looking forward to that i just thought i'd end with a couple of funny things before going into the arena predictions saw this made me laugh it's like cyclops is similar to like a wd-40 you know command mike knows he needs a well-oiled machine get a bit wd-40 you know lube it up good and proper Good old uh, Cyclops, love him. Also saw this on the Facebook community group. It's a great group, by the way. Sardeep put this up, and it is really cool to see these things. Like, I see, you call it Venom with a with a Prem diaper. I, I, know, I, I do, I do like it when these funny things happen. I, if you know on Twitter, I post up something where like Phoenix is just in the background like this. I'm just like, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're just there for no reason, just looking backwards at something. So, uh, yeah, a few kind of like crystal errors here or there. It's always funny when, when this stuff happens. Now it's time for arena predictions. All my predictions are down below at the moment. But I'm going with the following and let me explain why. I don't think Man-Thing has quite sufficient hype compared to a champion like Gear Team 2099. When that champion launches in about two weeks time, I suspect we're going to see some crazy, crazy numbers. But also, where do I feel the man thing is going to go here? I'm going with 45 mil. I think that's just enough that's not like overhyping this champion, but enough that he doesn't have the sufficient hype to see him any further on than that. And it's could, we could even see like lows of like going to 40, maybe in 39 mil for it. The four star version, I'm going 9.6 mil, which is a mil less than what I normally do for new featured four stars. But I just, again, don't feel there's a sufficient hype around this champion. It's a good champion. It's a good idea. But I just don't feel that, that players are really invested in this character to have him and play with him. Also, Starlord. I'm going with 1.8 mil, which is slightly less than normal, but I feel that's kind of fair. And then finally, the three-star version of Man-Thing. I'd probably say same thing as normal. 1.4 mil for a champion that doesn't have the sufficient amount of hype in the community at the moment. Especially considering, I mean, I haven't done a video. I didn't have a time, time whilst in New York Comic Con to make a video on this new character. So, I don't know. I just, I was kind of looking like, I really wanted to make a video on it. But I just didn't have the time. And then the champion was removed from my account. So, what can I do at the end of the day? The final thing to mention is back in about three months ago, we talked about AK Allen, who's someone that is uh, obviously known on a few channels and the MC community. He's doing a charity boxing match. And since then, when we started and talked about this, he obviously was on zero. His total now is of £521. And this event is taking place next month, which obviously he's going to try and hopefully knock somebody out. He is in training at the moment for this and I just wanted to showcase this prog progression to kind of show okay so when we start talking about this as well as everybody that's kind of supported from the community and uh, friends and family of his it's kind of cool to see someone doing something that he believes in because he's doing this for his mum because his mum unfortunately and really sadly passed away from cancer this year so 23rd of uh, November is when he's got the boxing gloves on. He's in training at the moment. So hopefully he's going to get that knockdown blow. As you can see, he's lining up for a punch on the bag now. He's a wrecking machine! There we have it. That has been Marvel Contest the Champions News for the 16th of October 2019. Check out some other content here. As I've got some probably crystal opening here. Maybe some other MCC video there. Or maybe a VR video. Why not? Thanks again for watching this video. Make sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. See you tonight for the live stream and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.